Today, the roadblocks continue as around 800 law enforcement officers assist in the search for the two escapees. It is day eight, as we have said, in this search, and both men still on the run. WPTV's Hannah McDonald is live in Dannemora with the latest. Hannah, set the scene for us there, if you will. Well, Steph, with that reminder last night from officials that these two escapees might very well still be in this area, check, checkpoints like this one behind me continue to stop traffic. There's no one there right now, but let me tell you, they're very active today on this first full Saturday of the search for the two killers. Down Route 374 away, troopers peered through windows, took a look through weekend travelers' trunks, and opened up trucks on day eight of this manhunt. Drivers run into anywhere from two to three checkpoints still in this search hot zone, but the roadblocks do move pretty quickly. Some of these officers say, though, that they are taking 16 to 17 hour shifts a day. Now, there's no indication that these roadblocks will be letting up anytime soon, according to New York State Police, but like I said, they are pretty easy to get through, but they do say that they're staying here, staying present for the community's sake. Live in Dannemora tonight, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News Channel 5. Steph, back to you.